Did you know Wendy Williams was about to die? On October 31, 2017, Wendy Williams, the outspoken and charismatic host of The Wendy Williams Show, experienced a terrifying moment live on air. Dressed in a shimmering Statue of Liberty costume for her Halloween special, Wendy suddenly collapsed, leaving viewers and her studio audience in shock. This incident became one of the most talked about moments in daytime television history, sparking widespread concern and speculation about her health. As the Halloween episode unfolded, everything seemed to be going smoothly until the show reached a segment where Wendy was announcing the winners of the show's annual Halloween costume contest. Just as she began speaking, Wendy's expression changed drastically, her eyes widened, and her speech began to slur. Within seconds, she staggered backward and collapsed to the floor. The cameras quickly cut away to a commercial break, but the unsettling image of Wendy falling was already burned into the minds of millions of viewers. When the show returned from the commercial break, Wendy was back on her feet, visibly shaken but composed. She explained to her audience that she had fainted due to overheating in her costume. That was not a stunt, Wendy said, emphasizing that the fall was a real medical event and not part of the Halloween theatrics. She attributed the incident to the combination of the heavy costume and the hot studio lights, which caused her to become dehydrated and overheat. The incident quickly went viral, with clips of Wendy's collapse circulating across social media platforms. Fans and media outlets expressed their concern, with many wondering if something more serious was going on with Wendy's health. Some speculated that she might have suffered a stroke or a heart attack, while others questioned whether there were underlying issues that had not been addressed. In the days following the incident, Wendy reassured her fans that she was fine. She explained that she had been dealing with a hectic work schedule, and the combination of stress, the heavy costume, and the heat in the studio had simply overwhelmed her. Wendy also addressed rumors of more serious health issues, firmly stating that she did not suffer a stroke or any other serious medical event. Wendy later took a short break from the show to rest and recover, and when she returned, she thanked her fans for their support and well wishes. She continued to maintain that the fainting episode was an isolated incident, caused by the unique circumstances of that day. Wendy's on-air collapse was not the first time her health had been a topic of public discussion. Over the years, Wendy has been open about her struggles with various health issues, including Graves' disease, a condition that affects the thyroid and can lead to symptoms such as fatigue, weight loss, and heart palpitations. In the years following the fainting incident, Wendy faced additional health challenges, leading to further breaks from her show. Wendy Williams' dramatic collapse on live television was a moment that shocked and concerned her fans. While the incident was a result of dehydration and overheating, it highlighted the pressures of live television and the importance of taking care of one's health, even when the cameras are rolling. Wendy's resilience in the face of public scrutiny and her openness about her health struggles have only endeared her more to her audience, who continue to support her through her ups and downs. As Wendy herself often says, the show must go on, and despite the challenges she's faced, Wendy has proven time and again that she's a force to be reckoned with in the world of daytime television. After months of speculation and uncertainty surrounding Wendy Williams' whereabouts, the former talk show host has finally been seen in public. Back in February, Wendy's sister, Wanda Williams, along with her niece, Alex Finney, revealed that Wendy had been placed in an undisclosed treatment facility. They expressed their concerns, stating that they had not been informed of her exact location or condition during this time. I speak with her very regularly when she reaches out to me. She is, from what I understand, in a wellness, healing type of environment, Wanda told people at the time. We cannot reach out to her, but she can reach out to us. And she is in a healing place emotionally. Since then, Wendy has remained out of the public eye until now. On Monday, August 19, Victor Bowman Jr., the son of the late herbalist Dr. Sebi, posted on Facebook that Wendy Williams and her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., visited his store in Newark, New Jersey, to shop for herbal products. Bowman shared a photo of himself with Wendy, who was recently diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia and aphasia. He captioned the post, Wendy Williams came to my store. Much love, Queen. This marks the first time in months that the former talk show host has been seen in public, ending a long period of absence that had raised serious concerns about her well-being. These concerns were heightened by the February 2024 premiere of the Lifetime documentary Where is Wendy Williams, produced by her family. Before this, Wendy hadn't been seen since May 2023, except for her appearances in the docu-series, which was filmed between August 2022 and April 2023. Close friends and family have voiced their worries that her court-appointed guardianship has been isolating her from loved ones, a sentiment highlighted in the documentary. However, Wendy's visit to Bowman's store, especially in the company of her son, who recently turned 24, may signal a turning point for her and her family. The visit quickly went viral, with the neighborhood talk sharing photos of Wendy and her son, leading fans to express relief at seeing her in good spirits. 
praying she doing better happy she with her son, one fan commented, while another noted, Wendy looks healthy, she's not skinny anymore, she put her weight back on, happy to see her doing better, another person commented, she looks better, Wendy does not do hugs, so she must be really in a happy mood, hope so, I miss her coming across the TV talking ish. One fan playfully commented, 2024 wouldn't stand a chance against Wendy in her prime coming for the crown, Chili acknowledging how the queen of gossip once set the standard for bloggers and urban gossip radio. Many others expressed their well wishes, while also sharing how much they miss seeing her on their screens every day. Others applauded her for exploring the potential benefits of Bowman and Dr. Sebi's alternative healing practices. I am glad she went to a natural herbalist for help. One fan wrote, I hope she got from that white lady that was stealing and controlling her assets. She looks healthier, I still miss Wendy Willems though another fan wrote. However, some remained cautious, pointing out the gravity of her condition. You all she has dementia so they claim and if that's true then there's no better. Now if they choose to bring her back they can lie about the diagnosis given to all of us, but typically, dementia is usually something you prepare to start saying goodbye to permanently. Wendy Williams' closest friends are raising concerns about her court-appointed guardianship, as the TV host remains isolated from her loved ones. The former New York radio star was last seen in the February release of Lifetime's four-part documentary, Where is Wendy Williams, which featured footage filmed between August 2022 and April 2023. Prior to that, Wendy was photographed in New York in May of the previous year. Her close friend Regina Shell suspects that Sabrina Morrissey, Wendy's guardian, may have ulterior motives, which could be preventing Williams from receiving the proper care and staying in touch with her family and the public. Morrissey was appointed as Wendy's guardian in May 2022 after the Daytime Emmy nominee stepped down from The Wendy Williams Show due to health issues. Williams has a history of struggling with alcoholism and drug use, and she was recently diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. The documentary highlighted the severity of her cognitive issues and ongoing battle with addiction. According to Morrissey, the former host is receiving treatment at a rehab facility. However, her close friends and family have not been informed of her location and are unable to contact the 59-year-old. Talking is Wendy's life it's what made her famous, and I don't believe she would be this silent unless she was being forced to be, Shell told the US Sunday. Where is Wendy, and why is no one asking that question? Why can't anyone provide a statement from Wendy, or even a photo? Where is Wendy? Shell stated that she and Williams used to speak multiple times a day, every day, but she hasn't heard from the celebrity gossip host in over a year. Their friendship dates back to high school. Shell also mentioned that she lived with Williams for several months during the summer of 2022 in New York and again in the fall when Williams was in California. I hope you liked the video, don't forget to like share and subscribe. Any thoughts? Share in the comments and thanks for watching.